Hello and welcome back to my channel for another video. If this is your first time here, then welcome. My name is Darlene. And if it's not your first time here, thank you for coming back to another video. For today's vlog video, we're doing something. Ranger. I'm <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. I think what I was saying, today's video is going to be a reading vlog and I am so excited. This is actually gonna be my first reading vlog here on my channel. And the book I'm gonna be reading is going to be Happy Place by Emily Henry. I'm gonna give a little bit of context in case this is your first time on my channel. I am a very new reader. I've only read Colleen Hoover books. I've read Ugly Love, November 9, and Verity. Now that I've read three of Colleen Hoover's books, I can kind of understand the controversy with her and like her books and her writing style and I'm just wanting something a little bit different because if you know then you know but I've heard so many great things about Happy Place and I found it at Costco it was $15.49 so this book is about Harriet and Wynne and every summer they go to this really beautiful beach like cottage house in Maine with their friends and like the kind of main thing about the book is that they actually have broken up but they're kind of like hiding that they broke up to their friends so I'm assuming there's gonna be like this like fake dating like second chance thing there's probably like this big reason why they broke up but their friends don't know so I'm I'm like how do your friends not know so a little bit of a side note it's actually kind of like the end of summer here and it's so gloomy today i think it's gonna rain there's like a 50 percent chance forecast when i checked on my phone so if it does rain it's gonna be like the perfect weather for a read so i'm hoping it does so we'll see but let's get into reading this book So it's a little bit later. It's currently actually 3.42 right now. I had to cut my reading a little bit short because I had to take my husband to pick up his car from the dealership and he had to leave to work. So I think I got up to the third or fourth chapter and so far I do really like it. But the craziest thing happened. So this is like totally a side note apart from reading or the book in general. But you know how I mentioned in my intro that it was like a gloomy day. There was a chance of rain. But normally like especially in San Antonio you can never like follow like the forecast or even like the Apple thing. Like it's never ever accurate. I went to take my husband to work. I stopped at Marshall's. Found nothing. I had to go to HB to get like literally like a few items. So I go to HB and I just hear like all of this like rumbling. And there was this lady next to me. She's like I hope it's the thunder. And I was like oh my god. It's thundering. So get my groceries, pay for everything, walk out to the doors. Actually, there's people like waiting because it is a freaking monsoon. Okay, well, not, not really, not a monsoon. But it was coming down so hard. I threw my hair in a bun and I made a run for it. You guys, I was soaking wet. My hair actually looks pretty decent. But as a little treat for myself, I stopped and grabbed a boba smoothie so good but this is truly like the most perfect reading weather it already stopped raining at this point but it's still really gloomy i just wish like i had experienced this reading my book at home you know what i mean but i'm gonna go inside put my groceries away and then we'll continue the reading Well, you guys it is actually the next day it is currently wednesday it's 9 40 p.m and i am a little ashamed to say but i literally got up to like chapter six of this book i have just not had the time to read today it was actually a pretty busy day i just did some work this morning i had a lot of editing to do it so i did pretty much that all day and around like five o'clock or so i got ready no actually like around three i got ready to go to an event which i just came home from i was invited to go to the alamo draft house the one in stone oak for a surprise movie screening and for their fall menu oh my gosh the movie was called bottoms it was so funny i don't think i laughed as much as i did seeing that movie and i saw like on the poster that they had given us that it was like produced by the same person as pitch perfect so i was like i'm gonna love this movie a different kind of humor for sure but it was just so funny so we did that we had some good food you guys we like ordered so much food i didn't even like realize how much food we ordered we got like a pizza a burger fried pickles popcorn i think my cousin got like avocado toast like we didn't realize how much food we got so we were we were so full and on top of that before we went to see the movie they gave us like an appetizer so it was definitely really fun but tonight i want to read i need to get through more than just like the first 10 chapters like i have to read some more tonight so 
The goal tonight is to read. I'm going to take care of the dogs. I just fed them. I know it's kind of late feeding them, but I just fed them. I'm going to take Ranger O-U-T-S-I-D-E, take a shower myself, and get cozy in bed and read. Good morning guys and happy pumpkin day from Starbucks. It's so funny because I was going to go this morning and of course get me a pumpkin cream cold brew. But if you didn't know, my husband works like the overnight shift. So he came home this morning with Starbies and a breakfast sandwich. So I'm going to enjoy these and finish reading my book. Well, not finish it, but getting, hopefully getting. Took a really good point today because today is Thursday and I want to try to finish this by Saturday. So yeah, but I am so excited. I have been waiting all year for this drink and it's finally here. I just reached the point where they announced that they're together to their friends and it's like ugh, it's like kind of like a bittersweet thing because you know now in the present time that they're like broken up i'm just like ugh. it's like one of those things that like i want to be like happy like oh my god but then i'm like oh my god but then i'm like oh wait like there could be a second chance you know so Okay, it's getting good. I am on what chapter am I? I don't even know what chapter I'm on. Chapter 14? Yeah, 14. The way this book is, it's basically each chapter is like present time and then when they first met, how the friends met, like it's all kind of different. There might be like two chapters in a row where it's like the same time, but it's typically like one or the other. So yeah, it's it's, it's really good. So then it's like, I get like happy hearing something and then I'm like, oh wait, you know? So I feel like I've gotten to a pretty good point. I am definitely gonna like read some more. But I'm going to have to come to a stopping point at some point because my husband will get ready to leave for work in a few hours. I want to spend some time with him before he leaves. Well, you guys, it has been a few days since I filmed last. A lot happened last week that I wasn't able to really film or read. This is like the first time I've been able to read. But I think I'm just like really overwhelmed with like everything that's going on. I had like a horrible headache yesterday. Again, thinking it's allergies, but... We're gonna be reading. I am on page. I didn't even like get to stop at a chapter. Currently 825. I don't want to stay up too late because I felt like last night I didn't get enough sleep. It was my fault, but I fell asleep really late last night. And this morning I got up really early to go meet my best friend Abby. I had to get like some maintenance on her car. So I picked her up and we had breakfast. It was so good. We also went to Target and we bought our next read. We're going to both read it together. I got her to read Verity and she is hooked. She was like, I got hooked instantly. I'm like, and we picked up that we're going to read together when I'm finished with this one and she's finished with Verity. The housemaid, I think it is because it kind of like is similar to like Verity, but I have a strawberry lemon poppy in my cute little cup and then i also got a little snack to have i had some dinner already but as i was saying it's 8 26 right now i'm gonna try to read for a couple hours i don't want to stay up too late because i'm really tired but let's get to reading It is a little bit later. It's currently 9.47. I have some lo-fi. 
have a puppy. I have turned the lights off and I have my little reading light. This works so good, by the way. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. I'm on page 197, but somebody will not let me read now. Excuse me, sir. Hey you guys, it is the next day. It's literally 12 o'clock right now. I have been scrolling on my phone for the past couple of hours, looking at like all the coverage and like TikToks of the hurricane. Idalia, Idalia. I've done a couple emails, but I'm not gonna lie, I've been on TikTok most of the time. And I don't know, it's like so funny. Like I obviously live in Texas, but I am always like whenever there's like something crazy, like hurricanes or something, I am like so invested and I don't even live like i didn't even i'm not even near it you know but anyways so i've been doing that and i was like what am i doing girl i need to read last night i read a pretty good amount i am on chapter 21 and this might be a little bit of a spoiler so i'd probably skip ahead i just got to the part last night that was really loud <laughs> i just got to the part last night where harriet and win like kissed for the first time and then they were about to you know do the deed and win is like I can't do this this isn't right like i don't want to hurt you and it's just like <sighs> you know it's like this book you guys is really like it's making me mad it's making me so upset because here harriet is like trying to figure out how their relationship went wrong like what happened he broke up with her over like a four minute phone call they were long distance because he went to go stay with his mom because like she's sick yada yada and it's like they weren't just like boyfriend and girlfriend like they were like fiancés like he proposed to her they were engaged and it's like this whole time she's trying to figure out what went wrong and apparently there's some guy involved like one of her co-workers but he has like nothing to do with it but i don't know you guys there's just a lot and then like the whole friendship aspect like there's like three couples who are all best friends but it was like the girls first who like all met in college and like their partners and everything so it's just like i feel like sabrina who her father owns the house they go to every summer she's like trying her hardest to keep this friend group together and i feel like they're all like drifting apart so <laughs> it's just this book you guys it's so sad and i just like Ugh, i i kind of want to finish it to be honest like i like it I'm just ready for this book to be done like and i feel like i've never liked that like well i act like i've read so many books but i almost just i just want to know what happens like what led to win's decision i also found this tiktok of this spotify playlist called happy place by emily henry there's so many good songs that correlate to with this book we don't talk anymore charlie puth selena gomez champagne problems taylor swift do not even get me started this book is literally champagne problems so i'm gonna play this and read my book and hopefully i'll finish it today It is a, a little bit later. I have made my way outside. Also, if it sounds really loud, my patio literally backs up to the AC units outside. Those are the AC units, so it gets really loud out here. But I made myself a nice little iced coffee. I am just about done with my book. Let's see what chapter I am on. I'm on a chapter 30. I ended up coming inside because it got really hot out there, but I just finished the book. Definitely have a mixed opinions on it, but I will do like a full update tomorrow. <laughs> Hello friends, it has been a few days since I filmed the last portion of this vlog when I kind of finished reading the book. I've had the worst migraine and I'm attributing it to the, I don't really want to say like seasonal like allergies, um, but I guess more just like the temperature change and I guess maybe that it's like dying down from summer we're gonna be entering fall soon it's just been like a migraine for like five days today is like day five or six and i feel like i could still feel it in the back of my head but i can like live my life and i'm okay it's still there but i can i can manage it which is i'll live with it because i've had 
a crappy few days but i think the last day i read was the day i felt the migraine coming on so i was like oh my gosh so i didn't like want to pick up my camera and film or anything even get ready but here we are today we're going to give my review on happy place first of all i want to start with my initial rating i'm gonna give it a three out of five stars i didn't love the book but i didn't hate it i'm not gonna lie i was so bored <laughs> with this book i'm actually gonna get into my pros and cons but i think i want to start with the negatives first so that it can end on a happy note i also wrote some notes on my laptop because i kind of had an idea that i wasn't going to record this fresh of me reading it so i wanted to have my notes in place but the first thing i have down is the lack of communication that is like my first thing that i was like oh my gosh so many things would have been solved from everybody in every relationship in this book had there have been communication. It's not just like Wynn and Harriet. It's literally like Wynn and like Sabrina. Like it's everybody. Everybody has a lack of communication. And it's I'm just like just talk to each other. Just open up or at least say hey we broke up. I don't want to talk about it. But I just want to let you know. But let's leave it at that. Like just put some boundaries and some communication like, my second thing is that it was so repetitive and i understand like why win was acting the way he was acting now like it definitely all tied up at the end and it made sense like why everybody was being so closed off but i'm just like it was just so repetitive like the feelings like everything i'm like it would be like reading four pages of repetitiveness and i'm just like can we like please move on to the next thing the next thing i have on here is that it really bothered me how they didn't tell their friends that they broke up i'm just like how can you be like best friends if you don't like tell them what's going on you know what i mean like i can understand that she was like it, she didn't want to like want it to be real in a way and i guess it would feel more real i'm just like these are your best friends these are your girls these are your people like how could you not tell them it just didn't seem super realistic to me moving on to the positives i love the diversity and inclusivity in this book it was like a breath of fresh air i know whenever i see tv shows and like there's some diversity included i'm like yes thank you like this is what i want to see and this is also now like what i want to read i loved that i also really really loved how the characters were in their 30s because i can relate to it more than reading about a couple that's like 24 years old i don't mind reading those kinds of books at that age but i'm like i'm 30 i want to read about 30 year olds too even though i was really bored with this book i also liked how mature it was moving on to my next positive i loved all the different relationships in this book i like how it was not just only about the two like main people harriet and win i liked how it was about all kinds of relationships and they're each different dynamics and like how different each relationship was and i'm not just saying like your friendships i'm saying like harriet and her parents and how harriet saw win's parents and how like it was just so different and how harriet grew up and how the three girls formed their relationship and their bond like so many different dynamics moving on to another positive and i'm gonna reference colleen hoover once again because i that's all i can reference it to because i've only read her books but i liked how this book was it was a little spicy not really there was a lot of sexual tension in this book but once they like did the deed you know it wasn't cringy like reading it it was like normal my last and final positive i loved how everything tied up i will say a lot of this book did not make sense to me when i was reading it and i feel like that's obviously like how most books and like tv shows are you're like what am i watching this doesn't make sense it all tied up like every loose end every question i had was answered at the end of this book and i really really actually loved the ending a lot more so than i loved the entire book it was a great wrap up of the whole book in my opinion and i also think that this is the longest book i have read that's pretty much my little mini review actually it's kind of a long one i've been recording for 13 minutes but all in all i liked the book did i love it i did not but i am ready for my next read me and my best friend abby actually went to target a couple days ago and we both picked out a book to read together because i got her to read verity and she loved it i knew she was gonna love verity but we're gonna be reading the housemaid together but thank you guys for watching this video i feel like i've been talking for so long hopefully all of my thoughts and opinions made sense if you agree or disagree let me know in the comments down below i'm always willing and open to have a conversation even if we don't agree thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye